If you guys have been following me for a while, you know my area of expertise is gut health and hormones, even the two coming together for weight loss. Today, what I'm gonna be sharing with you is actually how I help my client lose over 32 pounds all by healing the gut. I see so many women out there struggling with weight loss, especially 30 plus, and we have all these hormone imbalances going on. We have chronic fatigue. We're run down with cravings. We start developing all of these food sensitivities, bloating, constipation. We still are so focused around the weight loss when all of our health is going, we're having all these symptoms and we're not getting the results. Simply by helping my clients on a more holistic approach that I'm going to be sharing with you today, all my secrets, what we're doing with her diet, her training, her nutrition, everything. It's my holistic approach to balancing out your hormones, healing your gut, getting your body out of the state of what I call metabolic chaos, because we want to think of it as everything we do throughout our life, all those little things that push us closer and closer to the edge. You know, we had crazy yo-yo dieting. We've, you know, had our fun party days, you know, maybe we had long courses of antibiotics that diminish our good and bad bacteria. All of these things push us closer and closer and closer to our ledge. And one day, maybe you get, you know, sick or you have a trauma, it pushes us off the edge. And that's when we're left with all of these health symptoms. And we have to address the root cause, start working on all of these little symptoms to get us off of it, get our health in a great place. Because to get to a healthy weight, we got to get a healthy body. And a short little update on you guys. If you don't know me, I'm Elizabeth with Elizabeth Ayler Fitness. I have my four-year degree in kinesiology, CSCS. I'm a holistic nutrition consultant and a GAPS practitioner. And I had 15 types of parasites, H. pylori, SIBO, mast cell activation, was down to three foods, couldn't go to the bathroom. I've had over 150 colonics. I was over 200 pounds. I was down to 90. I help women 30 plus build muscle, lose fat, transform their body by healing their gut and their hormones. So let's go right into it. We're going to first off, I'm going to break down a little bit about what we did with her macros, her metabolism. First off, here is a little backstory on her and listen to the end because I'm going to be sharing so many secrets when it comes to gut and hormone health and even weight loss in our metabolism. So listen in to this. First off, a little backstory on her. She was hitting 32, but starting to really have a lot of these health issues going on. Low thyroid was one for her. Also, she was having chronic cravings, chronic fatigue. She was a keynote speaker, very, very busy life. So it was important to her to feel her best and have the energy. And even she was getting brain fog and she's like, I don't feel good. She was on eight Senna laxatives, eight of them per night, plus eight of those oxy powders. And for all of you individuals that know magnesium oxide and no oxy powder, you know, those are powerful. She would do both of those every single night and she would still not have a bowel movement. She was severely, severely constipated. She had chronic stress, chronic anxiety and chronic cravings. She didn't even have a lot of weight to lose on her. And she ended up in the 12 weeks we just finished today. She lost 32 pounds of inflammation. She told me that she healed her relationship with food because she had years of she was fear of everything, fat, carbs. She was so restrictive with her food because she was getting very sensitive and having a lot of food reactions too. And initially she came to me for my 90 day transformation program. And we started working together. And within one week, she's like, Elizabeth, I am already feeling so good on your program, but I didn't really tell you that I have all of these gut issues going on. I'm on all the 16 total laxatives over here. They said it's in the magnesium. And, you know, I have these chronic hormone issues going on. And when she told me those, we decided to switch over. She joined my digestive coaching. That's what we focus on was completely healing her gut balancing out her hormones. And now I'm going to take you step by step exactly what we did to build her metabolism, get her to lose weight all by her gut. First off, her macros for her metabolism with all my clients. I do not just throw something in a calculator and you never want to just go off of these fitness trackers. They are not hundred percent accurate guys. They can be so inaccurate. And if you go off of this and then you're eating more food and you're not losing weight, it's going to stress you out. So I had her track for a good week to get a baseline at where she's at. And I set her macros 
for her body and her metabolism. Because the truth is this, we are all different based off of our genetics. So you could be looking at your calories in and your calories out. Simple. But if we don't look at the individual and if they work better running more on fat or if they're more of a, you know, slow oxidizer and they need more of a carbohydrate heavy protein or sorry, heavy vegetable based diet, the individual in their macro distribution, that is so important to look at. It's not just about the calories. It's about your body, your genetics, how you run as an individual. I got a baseline where her macros were at and she was, she was around like 1600, 1700. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just focus right now on gut with you on all the healings. I know you're going to lose weight on these. Once we change the diet and we get feeling better and inflammation, we're going to lose weight. So I didn't bring her down too much, but I changed her macros completely for her metabolism. So remember that guys, when you're going for weight loss, getting enough protein works on the left and the ghrelin to keep you full, you're satiated, aids in weight loss. But one person, that's why one person may do good on a keto diet and the other person may not because each individual needs a different mac, um, macronutrient for you. And you have to try these things out. Um, with my clients, I've been doing it for so long, I'm able to do it for them. And little shameless plug, my next 90 day whole body transformation, it is starting October 7th. And I am looking for 10 busy women looking to build muscle, lose five to 20 pounds of fat, transform their body, their health, everything. You got to be busy because we're going to make your life unbusy and get more time for you. And I want you to head to the description on my YouTube, fill out my questionnaire. I'm going to be in contact with you to set up a call or you could DM me ready on Instagram. And this is not a fast fix. This is, I have clients transforming their body, their mind, everything in a sustainable way getting rid of gut issues, hormone imbalances. I have clients with menopause, hot flashes going away because we are healing. We're looking at the whole body holistic approach. So head to the description on my YouTube or DM me ready on Instagram. So now we talked about, boom, her macros. Over those 12 weeks too, I adjusted her movement, her steps, and a little bit of cardio because she traveled a lot with her keynote speaking. So we didn't throw in too much. We were really focusing on her stress, her sleep, specific protocol that I'm going to mention too for healing her gut too and balancing out the hormones. So she was on so many of those laxatives and that's Senna guys, that stuff turns your colon black. It is horrible. A lot of us, when we have constipation issues, number one, the thyroid, the thyroid slows the gut motility if we have low thyroid. So for her, I was working with her and her doctor so that we were able to regulate her medicine to help with her thyroid while we're working on other things I'm going to mention with the constipation. Because if you're not going to the bathroom and not having at least one to two complete, you feel complete bowel movements a day, then you are not having, you're constipated, you're backed up. And if you have all that sitting in there and fermenting, that's going to cause an overgrowth. You're going to have, you're going to feel toxic. You're going to have anxiety because you're not pooping, period. So my whole goal is she's been on all of these laxatives for so many years. She was even afraid to get off of them. So I had to go back to my place because I was on them and explain to you, like, you know, our bodies are meant to have a bowel movement and we can, but we we're so stressed. We hold on to everything and we go through our day and she's so busy. She's not even sitting down on the toilet to go to the bathroom. Who's guilty of this? You may do that too. So we worked on a few different practices. I showed her different modalities with self-massage, with the abdominal and all of that, so that we were able over the course of the 12 weeks to completely get her off all laxatives. She's going to the bathroom daily, two, two, three, bowel movements complete, no laxatives after all of that. And just getting the laxatives out of her diet in the beginning, putting the trust in me, gave us time to heal because all of those guys, all those stimulants, those are not good for your gut. Those are not going to make you feel better. Those are going to make you feel bloated. Those are going to irritate your lining. Those are not good. So we don't want to get you on them. We have to get to the root cause of why we're constipated, our gut motility, our thyroid, our bacteria, and, and heal and get everything working right again. Now, other thing that I do want to mention is 70% of your stool is actually bacteria. So we need to look at getting the right probiotics for the individual. I did a whole video to them on my YouTube talking about probiotics and why not everyone should take just a probiotic. 
I see a lot of people just run the seed. Everyone's body is different, especially if you have mast cell or histamine issues. Some of them produce more. So go on my YouTube, type in probiotic, watch all my probiotic videos. We are focusing, we got our macros going. I customized her training so that we were able to get in fast and efficient workouts with her travel. I made them band based for her when she was away. I had it all set up in the app so that we weren't throwing off her hormones. But we were also allowing us to get enough stimulus to build muscle, lose fat, and boost her metabolism. Having strength training is very, very, very important. I would say it is more important on, especially for women getting older than cardio, because if we are hitting perimenopause, which can hit as early as, you know, in our late 30s, seeing it more and more often nowadays, because that's my area of expertise with my woman is we're losing muscle at a rate of 40 to 50% faster. And then if we have a lot of gut issues, we're not absorbing, utilizing all of our amino acids from the protein or even getting enough, we're losing more and more muscle, which is so metabolically efficient. So just creating the workouts to her to fit with her lifestyle, to fit with each of my clients' lifestyle. It's not about feeling like you need to train six days a week, but we do need to get that on there and get that demand on our muscle that helped her build the muscle, that helped her have the body composition. I tell my clients this time and time again, because I have some women come to me and they're like, I'm rowing all day. I got a girl coming up soon. She lost 22 pounds, but it took us eight weeks to get her to straight chain. But once we did it, because the scariest things are the best things. And if you're just having fear of starting your fitness journey, I was there. Guys, I was there. I have hit barbells on my face. I've, I, I'm a mess. I am a complete mess. But when you are at the gym or you're in your home, just find a place where you feel happy. I make it, my clients are comfortable at home. I customize it to them at home and find that place where you could be consistent and create new habits. Even three days a week is like amazing. And I have clients achieving, like she's doing three days a week and she's down 32 pounds. Nothing crazy guys, eating more food. So look at it as a consistent. Now we're back at it for everyone hopping on. Just to let you know, cause you guys know, my whole passion is my whole goal is to help one person every single day. So I hop on here. I am sharing these stories to inspire you, showing you there's ways to heal your body. And it's not just about the calories. We need to start taking a health focused approach. And my next 90 day whole body transformation is exactly what that is. Every single struggle that any of my clients, I work with over 1000 women has struggled with. I bring up in my program. And at the end of the 12 weeks, my clients, they don't need me. They have the tools, they have the confidence backed in themselves and they completely transform. So if you're ready to transform your body, my next 90 day transformation is October 7th. Head to the description on my YouTube, DM me ready on Instagram. Now, this is the key. Okay. This is the key. If we've been doing all of these things, all the antibiotics where she's doing all the sentence and we have all these gut issues going on. We're having thyroid issues going on, which thyroid 20% of the conversions in our liver and the rest is with our gut bacteria. So if we're having thyroid issues, we have the chronic stress going on. We have all of this. We're getting probably a lot of inflammation. Like I mentioned the gut, this can cause leaky gut holes in the intestinal lining. I did another video of this on my YouTube titled leaky gut. There's a five part series, watch it. And then food can leak into the bloodstream. And then even things that you may not have been reactive to now could actually be causing food sensitivities. That was chicken for me. I was eating chicken all the time. I had such severe leaky gut and I developed food sensitivities where chicken would make me feel worse and get really bloated. You can remove all the food if you have all these gut issues, but you have to heal the gut. I brought out things, two specific ones, dairy and gluten. Those contribute a lot of havoc on our gut, our hormones. We brought them out of her diet. We started getting the inflammation down. I helped figure out what her food sensitivities were so we can get those out for a course of 90 days so we could focus on gut healing. I added in specific protocols too to start healing the mucosal lining, specific probiotics. Again, do not just grab any probiotics. It has to be the right one for the individual. If they have histamine issues, if they have SIBO, like if you have constipation, all of them are different strands. This is specific to the individual, which is why I never say which one and why I always kind of tell you guys, hey, broad spectrum. Don't just take any probiotic. If you need help, DM me. I work one along with people for gut. Now on her gut healing protocol, we actually focused on different things too, to help with her stress and her sleep. Magnesium L-theanate is the most bioavailable form in the body. So if we're sleeping better, we're getting more relaxed. That's going to help too with transit time.
all of this. And then I added in different herbs too, to bring down the inflammation in her gut and start healing her mucosal lining. So over those 90 days, we brought the inflammation down with the food. Each week we were working on the stress, the sleep, the recovery, all of that, because you're actually healing when you guys are sleeping. If you ain't sleeping good, then you're not recovering. You're having your detox from 10 to two, or sorry, from the yeah 10 PM to 2 AM. That's like major time. We need to be in bed. And we focused together, getting things together. And by doing this, we were able to heal the gut with the specific herbs. She's adding foods back in with no reaction, no more bloating, off all laxatives, two to three bowel movements a day, down 32 pounds, all by healing her gut. Huge hormone cravings, no more cravings. She's actually going to do a whole YouTube sharing her whole story. And I'm so excited because it's really gonna just inspire you i took so many pictures when we were working together because she would hold her pants out be like elizabeth like what is going on and the biggest win is she truly inspired her whole family she's like i've never felt like i've had such a balance with my food she's like i i healed my relationship she's like i look at food as you know what is this doing for me because my food makes me feel good and food should not make you guys feel chronic fatigue, pain in your stomach. You know, it shouldn't make you feel run down to where you need to sleep. It shouldn't make you just not feel right. And everybody's body is different. And we need to start looking at, you know, hey, when did we get these issues? What are our root causes? And get down to them and heal the body and stop just focusing on the weight loss. It's not just about the calories in versus the calories out. We have to look at the gut. We have to look at the hormones. We have to look at the individual, the stress, the sleep, all of those hidden stressors that contribute to overall, boom, metabolic chaos. Okay. I really, really, I really hope that you guys enjoy this live today. I'm going to try to do more. I get nervous to hop on these because I always feel like I need to have this amazing topic planned out that is just I don't know. I feel like sometimes I just have to have the perfect topic for everyone. So if you guys want to see more of these and you're okay with me just hopping on and sharing these amazing wins with you that I've been at my desk for 12 hours with clients and I have like so many wins and I want to share them all and I love to. So if you don't mind that, drop a heart emoji below and thank you for listening to the very end of this. And if you need help, DM me right on Instagram. Let's do this. Let's get you feeling your strongest, sexiest, radiant, I love you guys and thank you again.